Awesome. Just really quickly, and we got a bunch of stuff. We got some. Our kids are doing some music for us today, and I got a short word for you. So we're all excited about that. But hey, I wanted to talk to you guys about something special we did on Friday that was just so cool. We got to go caroling with the youth clubs, and um, with uh, we worked with Care, went out with us with Kathy and Doug and their family. And we handed out a bunch of turkeys, a bunch of pies, and cakes, and oh man, so much fun to to give to our community, amen? And just to look at joy on people's faces, you know, when, when they saw that, you know? It's the joy of the joy of Jesus, amen? Yeah. Amen. So that was really, really good. So thank you for your prayers for that. That went really, really well. If you're a visitor with us for the very first time, I know there are a bunch of you out there. Church, it's all kind of happy for our visitors today. We got some visitors all the way from Jamaica. Yeah. yeah. So, a church that's alive is a church worth the drive. So, we'll see you next week. No, <laughs> Great to have you guys. I want to welcome all of our live stream listeners on the internet. Uh, so glad to have you. So, um, if you guys want any more information about our church, want to hook up with some Bible studies, or just connect to us in any way, uh, we have connect cards for you at the Connect Center. So. Um, you know, sometime during this, after service, grab one of those uh, connect cards. We'd love to connect with you more on that level. We've got a lot of great things happening at the church. Also, if you're visiting with us and you live in Jamaica <laughs> or anywhere else here in New York or wherever you're from, uh, we're on the internet every week live, so you can always join us there too. So, All right, sound like a plan? All right, good. So I believe now we have Advent, correct? I left my schedule down there. So, all right, good. Elder John, let's do some Advents. The box is green. Yes. Okay, it's working. All right, today we're going to talk about our fourth candle. The first one was quiz. What was the first one? Okay. Good job, son. What was the second one? Love. Lighting a candle. Today, fourth candle for the fourth for the fourth Sunday. Is peace. So we have hope, love, joy, and peace. Uh, scripture for you. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. The world is desperate for peace. All you need to do is, I was going to say pick up a paper, but that's old. <laughs> Go online, check out the website, and you will see that there is no peace in this world. None. Read a news article, and they're all depressing. I know, I stopped reading some of them. We're all looking for peace. But see, peace is not something we can conjure up. Peace is not something we can invent within ourselves. If we uh, uh, change our nose, or get a new job, or get that new car we've been looking for, or... Um, Put some spray. I think a lot of Kristen said my ball spots back. You know, get that can of spray. It's not going to give me peace. All right? I can't see up there anyway. So. All right? But peace doesn't come by what we have or how we look. I was telling someone the other day, it doesn't matter how I look, eventually everything's going to sag and bag anyway. <laughs> Right? It's going to wrinkle. Right? My peace can't be, my peace is not about what I have or don't have, how I look or don't look, whether I'm tall, short, fat, skinny. doesn't matter. Right? Peace comes 
by knowing the principles. And that's who we're celebrating today. The Prince of Peace. Right? It doesn't matter whether we have things, don't have things, whether we're happy or we're sad, whether things go our way or things don't go our way. We can still have peace because it's not what we go through. It's who, who we know. I want to tell you a quick story about a man named Horatio Spafford. You may or may not know the name, but I'm sure you will know the poem that he wrote. Horatio Spafford was a very <coughs> successful attorney, a very prosperous businessman. He was a deacon in his church, and he was a supporter of D.L. Moody. In 1871, he lost his son to scarlet fever. His business burned to the ground in the great Chicago fire of 1871. Now you would have thought these things would have crushed the man. But he rebuilt and he reinvested. And two years later, in 1873, while his daughters and wife were crossing the Atlantic Ocean in a ship. The ship collided with another ship and sank in 12 minutes. 12 minutes. His wife barely survived, but he lost his four daughters. Now, surely he would break under this. But he sat down and he wrote this. When peace, like a river, attendeth my way, when sorrows, like sea billows, roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. For me, be it Christ, be it Christ hence to live, if Jordan above me shall roll, no pang shall be mine, for in death as in life, thou wilt whisper thy peace to my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. The question today is, is it well with your soul? What does your peace hinge on? If you don't have peace this morning, you can. That's what this whole celebration is all about. Hope, love, peace, joy. That's what Christmas and the expectation of Christ is all about. There's power in the name of Jesus.